Now, so far, we have positioned our objects by individually setting their X and Y positions. And this is how you position any individual object within Corona. As you might imagine, as your app grows with size and complexity, it can be pretty cumbersome to have to reposition every single asset if you decide to do some sort of design change whereby a group of assets maintain positioning relative to each other, but when you need to move them, you're having to move every single one, but still maintain their relative positioning. So luckily, within Corona, we're afforded a way to do this pretty simply by grouping objects. And if you used Photoshop or Illustrator or any visual program where you can create assets, this is something you're probably already used to. That is, you would put assets within a layer or within a group, you'd position them, and then you would move them all together as a layer or group. So here within the main.lua file, I'll head to the bottom of the code and I'll type local title group equals display dot new group. So what I've done is I've created a variable called title group and I've set its assignment to a new group. A new group is really just a container. There's nothing inside it yet, but it acts as a container that allows us to group display objects and then move them by affecting the variable that we've assigned them to. So here, title group. If I inserted these objects into title group now, we wouldn't see any difference really because we still have the X and Y positioning that we have set before. So we're gonna change that. We'll go ahead and erase the X and Y positioning for the donut and erase the X and Y positioning for the title text. So now we'll insert the title text and donut into the title group. So title group colon insert, and it's very important you use a colon and not a dot, otherwise you'll get an error. And here we'll insert donut. Then we'll type title group colon insert title text. We'll head to the simulator and refresh. And here we see that the donut and the title text are at the top left corner of the screen. Well, that's intended because by default, the X and Y positioning, if not set, will be at zero, zero. And that's what the top left corner of the screen is. So now we're going to position the text relative to the donut, and then we'll position the entire group. So headed back to main.lua, underneath the insertion of the items into the group, type the following, title text dot Y equals donut dot height times 0.5, so basically half of the height of the donut, plus 36. So we're setting the Y value, or the Y positioning of the text, to be half of the donut height, plus an additional 36 pixels. Now you might ask yourself, well, why half? Why not the full height of the donut? Because remember that the anchor point for the donut is at the middle of the image. So we only need to go half of the distance from the middle to the bottom of the image, and then add an additional 36 pixels. Go back to the simulator and refresh, and now we can see that the text is beneath the donut, so now we need to position the group. So back to main.lua, and underneath the code that we just typed, we'll type title group dot x equals screen dot center dot x. And let's take a look at this now. So that positions it at the center of the screen. And then title group dot y equals screen dot center dot y. Go back to the simulator and refresh. And now we can see that the center of the group is at the center of the screen, though it looks weighted a little bit towards the bottom. So let's put a little bit of adjustment there. So now after screen.center.y minus 48, we'll move it up 48 pixels, refresh, and there we go. That looks a little more balanced on the screen. So with display groups, you can group content together, position it relative to each other, and then take the entire group and move its position on the screen easily without disturbing the positioning of the internal contents of that group.